Hi, I'm Michael Johnson with Film Compass, and today we're exploring all the fun things you can do in Green, Texas. Established by German settlers in the mid-1800s as a cotton-producing community, this small western town is now a major tourist destination filled with incredible shops, tasty restaurants, and much, much more. People come from all over the U.S. to explore the cool shops in this small town. And the first one you should check out is the Green General Store. Officially reopened in 1989, the Green General Store features a variety of Texas-made products, awesome souvenirs, antique advertising signs, exclusive green memorabilia, and delectable treats like homemade fudge, candies of all different kinds, ice cream on a cone, and the famous five cent coffee. All the unique items and compelling gifts inside this store make it a must visit on your next trip to this little town. As you leave the general store, you'll immediately notice the large HD green building across the street that houses the Green Antique Company. This 6,500 square foot store is full of intriguing collectibles and rare gifts, making this the perfect place to shop and browse for something to bring back home. Just behind the large HD Green building is a pottery shop called The Barn. Established in 1982, this shop is home to beautiful handmade pottery with artistic designs you'd be hard pressed to find anywhere else. The handmade pottery is made on site and in the back of the store, there's even a kiln that heats up to 2400 degrees and takes three days to cool down. Now, if you're an avid outdoorsman like me, you're gonna wanna take a look inside Green Outfitters. This store has a wide selection of outdoor clothing and fly fishing equipment, such as rods and reels, flies, packs, and guides. Now, if a day out on the river fly fishing is something you can't get enough of, then head to Green Outfitters before you go. They'll get you set up with everything you need to have the perfect Central Texas fly fishing experience. Nearby, you'll find the Dancing Bear and the Black Swan, both of which are home to one-of-a-kind antiques you won't find anywhere else. Now, if you're looking for something a bit out of the ordinary, then head over to Kaler Forge, a blacksmith shop that sells high-quality knives and handcrafted items that are truly stunning to look at. After all this shopping, you might have worked up an appetite. Green is home to some of Central Texas' best restaurants, but the one you absolutely must try is the Gristmill River Restaurant and Bar. Located beneath Green's landmark water tower in the ruins of an 1878 cotton gin, the Gristmill is a must dining experience you won't want to miss out on. Enjoy amazing food as you dine in the long rustic halls with a beautiful fire to keep you company. This multi-level restaurant features indoor and outdoor seating with stunning views, intimate dining rooms, and some of the best tasting food you've ever had. Full of flavor, I recommend a juicy cheeseburger and a side of onion rings, or feast on the Gristmill's award-winning chicken fried steak that'll have you questioning why you didn't come to Green sooner. Dining here has been a true Texas experience since 1978, but it's not the only place to eat in town. If you've already been to the Gristmill, don't worry. There's plenty of other options to choose from. My next favorite restaurant to go to is Cantina Del Rio. This awesome and colorful restaurant has won many awards in New Braunfels for its ice cold margaritas. Enjoy a drink or two while you feast on delicious mouth-watering fajitas, or sink into some chips and dip. Nestled among the tall trees in green, Cantina del Rio is a great place to relax and enjoy a wonderful meal. Right next to the gristmill is Green Hall, Texas' oldest dance hall. This dance hall is a wonderful place to catch live music with friends. In fact, Many famous artists such as George Strait and Willie Nelson have performed here. There's even a few movie stars that frequent the hall. Grab a dancing partner or shoot a game of pool. Either way, Green Hall is a great place to check out on your next trip, but it isn't the only spot for live music. It's very common to see pop-up bands performing all around the small town, each with their own kind of music that will keep you dancing for hours. After a few rounds of dancing, it might be time to relax over some of Green's best wine. 
There are two wineries that come to mind when I think of Green, and that's the Grapevine and Winery on the Green. Both just minutes away from each other, the Grapevine features an excellent patio with live music, weekly menu changes, and some very interesting gifts and knickknacks that are honestly quite hilarious. While Winery on the Green features delicious fruit-infused wine, fun gifts, and an outdoor seating garden. People don't just come here to shop and stay dry. They come here for one of Central Texas' best tubing adventures. The Guadalupe River and its rapids run directly through Green, and the summer months offer a great place for family and friends to enjoy a relaxing adventure. Rockinar is the go-to river outfitter, and a float through Green only lasts a few hours leaving you plenty of time to enjoy the rest of the town. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed this list of things to do in green. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.